What's up YouTube, Dougie Chong here. Welcome to today's episode, which is gonna be part seven of the renovation series. If you did not see the first parts of the renovation series, I will leave links in the description below. Part seven will cover days 46 to 54 in the renovation series and takes us all the way to the end. I'm very excited to show the final completed product. As this is the last video in the renovation series, I wanna give a big thank you to everyone that made this renovation possible, including my dad and girlfriend. You guys are amazing. It's a crazy feeling having something you've worked on for so long finally come to fruition. Months of hard work has finally paid off. It's very important to set goals and know what you want to spend your money on because at the end of the day, a higher number in your bank account is not gonna do too much for you. All right, starting off at day 46, we got our countertop installed. This was probably the only part we didn't do ourselves we used a company called Quartz International and went with the Frosty Carina Quartz Countertop from Caesar Stone. We were told Caesar Stone was a good brand, so this is the countertop we decided to go with. Quartz comes in a little cheaper than things like granite or marble, and it really gives you the same type of feel and you don't have to seal it every year. We wanted to put a slightly more expensive stone countertop in as opposed to wood or melamine, just because you only do this like once in the house's lifetime, maybe two or three times. So I think it was worth the investment. The process starts with measuring out what you want. Then the company sends a templator to check the measurements. And a few days later, the contractors come to install it. For our close to 30 square foot section, it came out to a little more than $3,000 after tax. They install the sink and make the cutouts for the faucet and soap dispenser as well. Overall, there was a small scratch on the top and they were able to fix it. We noticed some other imperfections and we were able to get a discount as well, which was nice. Always inspect the product after it's been installed and never pay more than half up front. Also, be sure to put in writing exactly what you want from the countertop. Don't just say install countertop for a certain price. All right, day 47. Here's the time lapse of putting on the cabinet handles. This actually took a while to get used to, but after a few of them, we really got the hang of it. Here are some pictures of the countertop. We really liked how it turned out, especially the small drawer spot. It's hard to believe that it used to be a closet. Day 48, here's another picture of the drawer section. One of the reasons we got a discount was because this part was supposed to be three centimeters throughout. But as you can see from this picture, it only had a three centimeter lip and the rest was two centimeters. Ultimately, we didn't mind that much, especially if we were getting a discount, but be sure to check what you get is what you ordered. We also started assembling a Nordly bed from Ikea. This was quite a lot of work to assemble. Finally, my dad had some old tiles lying around, so we cleaned them off to use them as a backsplash. Day 49, here's some more time lapses and photos of assembling the Nordly bed. Again, this is a big project to undertake. It'll take maybe a day or two to set up. Days 50 and 51 were mostly for the backsplash. Be sure to allow adequate time to complete the backsplash. This was easily a two day project alone. If you don't have to go around outlets, it's not as hard, but cutting the tiles is gonna take a majority of your time. 
Other than that, it's just putting on the thin set and the tiles with the spacers. Here's a video of the backsplash completed with no grout added yet. Day 52 was grouting the backsplash. It's kind of a crazy process. You mix the grout and then just kind of apply it mostly in the cracks but pretty much all over the backsplash and any excess you sponge away after. Here's a picture of the kitchen with the backsplash fully done. This moment felt pretty great. Installing the countertop held up putting in the backsplash for a while, so it's pretty good to see it almost complete. Day 53 was spent entirely on installing the range hood. This appliance is no joke and takes a lot of time to install. You need to first take off the front cover before you can access the small holes for the bolts which you will not have a lot of finger room to maneuver. Also, you have to line up the top with the exhaust pipe, which makes this a two-person job. Finally, we installed the whole thing, and then we realized we were missing this little piece. So we had to take the whole thing down. This piece stops the cold air from coming in when the range hood is not in use. Be sure to install this little flap if you are installing a range hood. Day 54, it is finally complete. I'll try my best to show some before and after shots now, but really the transformation is truly incredible. The space feels entirely modern and nothing like it used to be. I'll end with a montage of finished pictures. This was truly an incredible project. I'd like to thank my dad and girlfriend for helping me throughout the journey. It's hard to believe that we are done now and on to the next project. That's it for this video guys and the whole renovation series. Thanks a lot for anyone that is following along with the journey. Please remember to leave a like if this video helped you at all. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Enjoy the rest of your day and see you in the next video.